was brought to us by a guy named Neil Davis. Neil Davis says this. He says, gentlemen, we will chase perfection and we will chase it relentlessly, knowing all the while we can never attain it. But along the way, we shall catch excellence. <laughs> that was the first thing I read this morning. I thought, wow, that's incredible. We will chase perfection and chase it relentlessly, knowing all the while we can never really attain perfection, right? We get that. It's impossible. There's always another mountain. There's always another hill. There's always another level that we can climb. So we, are, we will chase perfection. And though that seems on the outside to some mindless, right? You're like, why are you chasing something that you know you can never achieve? But this breaks it down. Along the way, we will catch excellence. I absolutely love that. I think that's a great way for us to start the day. This is episode number 832 of Hashtag Rise and Grind. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. Let's roll. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? there's no excuse for you not pushing yourself to the next level in order for you to create a new you you must have a new mindset when teams come together we can create things that are greater than the sum of all of their parts Welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to eight, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good... Hello? Hello? There it is. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Hey, those of you on Facebook, do me a huge favor. We can already tell that Facebook's doing some throttling this morning. So tag a friend. Those that you know like to watch the show, they're having a hard time finding it. I know they're looking for it, but I can already tell based on the numbers on the screen that Facebook and I are in a battle again today. Listen, today is Wednesday. That's right. Today is Wednesday also known as CMA Day, which is the Carter Myers Automotive Group. Today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. And what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it will ever, ever, ever be. Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. So I want to make sure we make the absolute most, and I do mean the absolute most, of this absolutely incredible, incredible day. So I wanna start off today with this question for you. Are you ready? I know it's early, are you ready for a question? What does hashtag rise and grind mean to you? That's the question. Drop your answers in the comments if you're there on Facebook or Instagram. What does hashtag rise and grind mean to you? Now, some people will say that rise and grind means like grit, right? Like this wake up early. You got to have this grit. You got to beat the sun out. All of those things, right? It's this passion and this fire. You got to lift the weights and you got to roar into the day, right? A lot of people describe rise and grind that way. Now, some people will describe rise and grind as a family. Like a group of people that were once strangers that are now connected all around 
the globe. That's how some other people would describe Rise and Grind. Some other people describe Rise and Grind as simply the morning routine or the only way to start your day, right? Like it's okay. I rise and I grind. I get up and I get after it. I go through my sequence. I go through my emotion or through the motions. I go through my thing, right? So there's different definitions to this thing called Rise and Grind. And I would love to hear yours. Drop them in the comments. I always go back and I take a look at those and I really appreciate you engaging in that way but I say this this is what I say not that what I say matters <laughs> as much but listen for real this is what I say I say rise and grind to me it means we rise every single day with intention and purpose so that we can evolve into the absolute best versions of ourselves that we can possibly be ultimately so we can go out and make an impact in other people's lives and we get to do it together that's what rise and grind means to me it means rise evolve impact together now, Monday, earlier this week, because we're in this series of what does rise and grind mean to you, earlier in the week, we broke down what it actually means to rise, right? Like by definition, rise means to move from a lower position to a higher one, to come or go up, uh, to get up from lying, sitting, or kneeling, an upward movement, an instance of becoming higher, an increase in amount, extent, size, or number, right? You guys understand that we rise. To a higher level now we also broke down evolve now yesterday we talked about that the evolutionary process of change followed by struggle followed by growth followed by success that's how it works every single time right we change we struggle we grow we succeed now today today we're going to talk about my favorite part <laughs> my favorite part which is impact that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about impact and how you can ultimately make a bigger impact. But first, before we go into all of that, y'all know what we got to do around here. We got to do some dancing, man. We got to do some dancing up in this place. We got to get the body moving. We got to get the blood flowing. There we go. Hey, objects in motion tend to stay in motion. Objects at rest tend to stay at rest. So I'm going to need you to become an object in motion right now. All right. Get the body flowing. Get get the blood pumping. Get the heart racing. All of those things. All right. We're going to listen to a little Tony with the keys today. This is Tony with the keys. Hashtag rise and grind. My man Tony is actually going to be. Tony is going to be on uh, Clubhouse today. We're going to do an interview with my man Tony with the keys. The guy who wrote this incredible song that we all listen to all around the world he's the man so i'm excited to introduce you to him on a deeper deeper level he's the man all right so yeah let's get the body motion it's also the part of the show where i need you to hit that share button that's right i need you to hit that share button because i believe if we can change the way people start their day it'll make a massive impact on this planet i truly believe that and sometimes all it takes to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button so if you're on facebook share it out instagram share it out if you're in clubhouse i need you to hit the plus sign if you're in clubhouse hit the plus sign invite some of your friends into the room we're gonna have an incredible day today it's gonna be absolutely powerful go on and get them in here this is also the part of the show where i want to say good morning to you and i want you to say good morning to me whether you're whether you are watching live you're watching on replay you're connected on youtube or our podcast wherever you're at i want you to say what's up how how you doing barrett trout i see you over there how you doing wendy reeves great to see you as well whitney wells is in here this morning i also see miss Mish Kata and trissy colleen i see my man michael spade is up in here paid i think you were on a uh you were in a room on clubhouse yesterday mr michael paid i see uh miss diaz is up in here and daniel rose i see melvin rodriguez and will ramsey i see tamika anderson is in the house i see brad smith linda Laban is up in here and of course when we pop over to the land of clubhouse 
crazy land over there. We have some new people on the stage, like Lafern, who I'm super excited to get to know better, and my man Michael. I see Shanice. I see Jenny and Kevin and Steve and Annette. I see Jessica and Ed and Dinah. And if I keep on going, hi Justin. I see Justin and Bernita. I also see uh, Alita Patrick and Tabitha Walls. I see Joan Goble is up in here. Mr. Rodney Rock Hatfield. I see Brittany, Jacqueline, Jesus, Patty, Janice, uh, Nikki. I see Daddy. Daddy's up in here. I don't know if that's my daddy. Well, it can't be my daddy. That'd be weird. But I see daddy's up in here. I see Cassandra and Latoria, Blake, Simon, Gail, Shannon, all kinds of folks together this morning on hashtag Rise and Grind. What a way to start the day. Are you kidding me? What an amazing way to start the day. Hey, as we wind this song down, I want you guys to know about something. Not only are we dancing here on hashtag Rise and Grind in the mornings, but we are getting ready to do the first ever virtual flash mob where all of us are going to come together and dance this Friday at 10 a.m. This coming Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern time. The way that you can get more details on that is go to risinggrindmob.com. Right? Go to risinggrindmob.com. And when you go there, you're going to get a packet from my friend Tamara. And in this packet, it's going to break down for you how to do a dance, the Rise and Grind dance to this song, the Tony with the Key song. It's going to break it down step by step for you. There's a professional choreographer that's going to teach you how to do it. There's also breakdowns on how to load the video to TikTok, how to load the video to Instagram. She literally recorded her screen so that you can see every single step. So if you don't normally post on TikTok or Instagram and you're thinking, man, I don't know those platforms very well, dude, she's got it all broken down for you. Just go to riseandgrindmob.com. This is going to be so, 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 so fun. We're going to have hundreds, thousands of people all around the world, all doing the hashtag Rise and Grind dance at the same stinking time. So make sure you're a part of that. Also, when you go to risingrindmob.com, as part of that packet that you're going to get, that's going to break this whole thing down, you're also going to get a video of Tamara actually doing the dance. Tamara broke it down. She shows you her version of it so you can check it out. So for those of you that are watching on Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and play you Tamara's version of the dance right now so you can see it. Fair enough? Fair enough. Let's do it. Good morning, all oh, my people for the sunrise, step into my greatness, feeling powerful and energized, thankful to be alive, hashtag blessed, write my mission, vision, values, and my gratitude list, I'm building up momentum, I'm making good decisions, I rise, I grind, I get it, ain't no doubt that I'm committed, cause who really loses if I don't win, can't cheat to grind, only get what you put in, so I'm mastering my mentals, I'm focused on my physical, I'm developing spiritually and manifesting miracles, I'm gonna get it started, have a party in the morning, and I'm gonna wake the world, it's so alarm, and I have that rising grind, good morning, all my people for the sunrise, step to my greatest so cool, so cool. So yes, that's Tamra doing the dance. Dude, anybody can do it. I'm telling you, they've created this for everybody. It's going to be super, super fun. You guys are going to love this. It's going to be amazing. I want you to be a part of it, all right? I want you to be a part of it. You get to mix in your own flavor, your own personality. Don't get too caught up in it. It's going to be easy. It's just a few simple steps. Once you get the packet, you'll understand. So go to riseandgrindmob.com and you're going to check that out. It's going to be awesome. All right, now, how does dancing on TikTok play a part in today's discussion on making an impact. And I'm going to explain that to you here in just a second. All right. But first we got to dive in this week on hashtag rise and grind. What does rise and grind mean to you? So TikTok, <laughs> just so you know, you want to talk about making an impact. TikTok has 689 million active monthly users, okay? 689 million active 
monthly users. To give you an idea of what that looks like, that is the entire United States population times more than two. Okay? Take every single human in the United States, take every adult, every young person, all, all of Glenn Lundy's children, all of them put together, more than double it, that's how many people are on TikTok every single month, like active, okay? That's active users. There's actually 2 billion people that have downloaded it, 2 billion, okay? Now, here's what you got to understand. They've only been around since September of 2016, okay? Okay? So in five years, that's right, in just five years, since September of 2016, they've been able to put together this platform that now currently has double, more than double the U.S. population on there every single month going through there. It's crazy. Now, in less than five years, it has not only become one of the most popular of the social media platforms, but it's also launched tons of people's careers and forever, forever changed the lives of those people and the people that they come in contact with and impact, right? For example, there's, there's, for example, there's this young lady named Charlie D. Emilio. Charlie D. Emilio has over 100 million followers, okay? Over 100 million followers. I want you to grasp what that looks like. Charlie is bigger than most countries on this planet, okay? 100 million followers that she has influence, impact, contact, all of that with. It's a massive number, okay? She was launched on TikTok. She just got on TikTok in 2019, just two years ago, all right? You got this guy named Little Nas. Little Nas sang this song called Old Town Road that I know most of you have heard the song in some way, shape, or form, maybe saw the viral dance, all of those things, right? Old Town Road by Little Nas was launched on TikTok. It launched his career. He's now going around the world. All of those things, right, happened from TikTok. And there are many, many, many other stars whose careers have been launched on this particular platform, all right? Uh, they claim, and I couldn't find all, all of them, but they claim to have put 70 songs, 70 songs have hit the Billboard Top 100 through TikTok. That's a big deal. And Charlie alone, who I told you about earlier, you got to keep in mind, this girl is only 16 years old. Okay. Charlie is 16 years old and she's now currently making $8 million a year. $8 million a year at 16 years old. She makes more than most professional athletes in most professional sports, just so you know. So what does that, what does that like really mean, right? When we talk about this word impact and ultimately the impact TikTok has had on these people's lives and the impact that these people are having on other people's lives, like what does that really mean? When we talk about impact, we have to make sure we understand the definition of the word. So the word impact is defined as this, the action of one object coming forcibly into contact with another. It's also defined as come into forcible contact with another object or the one that really matters most for what we're talking about today, have a strong effect on someone or something. To make an impact is to have a strong effect on someone or something. You know, in the early 1800s, there was this woman named Harriet Tubman. And Harriet Tubman successfully saved 300 humans from slavery. 300 humans from slavery. She made 19 trips after she freed herself from slavery. She made 19 trips to go back through the Underground Railroad, right? She made 19 trips over a period of 10 years. She never once got lost and she never once lost a passenger. And she was able to save 300 people to pull them out of slavery. Now, not to get morbid or anything like that first thing in the morning, but I want you to think about what life would be like in slavery. Just think about it for a second. 
just think about what it would be like back in the 1800s where you were forced to rise at four or five o'clock in the morning. You were injected filled with things like cocaine to give you the energy you needed so that you could be stronger, so that you could do more work. You were sent out into the fields where it was hot and it was sweaty so you could pick cotton or do other things. You were beaten and lashed on your backs. Everything was controlled. You weren't allowed to read. You weren't allowed to make money. You were treated as a dog. You were not treated as a human. You were treated as a dog. And then Harriet Tubman comes in pulls you out of being treated like a dog, brings you to freedom on the other side, where now you're free. And not only are you free, but you have an appreciation for what freedom really means. Now you can go to the bathroom when you want. Now you can wake up when you want. Now you can actually make a living for yourself. You can learn to read if you want. You can do all these things. So Harriet frees these people. Now these 300 slaves that she freed, not only did she make an impact on their life, but I want you to think about what they did. So these 300 people then went out, got married, had kids, got jobs, started making an impact, building their own businesses, so on and so forth, right? So Harriet touched 300. Those 300 touched however many they touched. It's this ripple effect. That's what impact looks like, right? It's all about the ripple effect. When we talk about this word, impact, I want to like ingrain it in your brain today. Impact, 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 impact. When we talk about this word impact, to have a strong effect on someone or something. I need you to understand that you have the ability and the responsibility to make an impact in other people's lives. Listen, on January 9th, uh, 2011, there was this guy named Josh Cummins. And Josh Cummins gave me a job. He gave me an opportunity at Dan Cummins Chevrolet and Buick in Paris, Kentucky. Now, you have to understand, most people would give me a job today. I can go get a job. No problem. Easy. Today, I can go get a job. I got a reputation for myself. I'm a winner. I win. I make things happen. I can get a job. But back when Josh gave me a job, it wasn't like that. <laughs> when Josh gave me a job, I was driving a 1998 Toyota 4Runner with 240,000 miles on it that was completely rusted out. When Josh gave me a job, I had uh, a bad, you know, uh, uh, criminal background. When Josh gave me a job, I was just now, uh, I was dating my 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 girlfriend and we had a kid together and we were living in some low income housing. When Josh gave me a job, a lot of other people wouldn't give me a job. They weren't interested in me. But Josh believed in me and Josh Cummins gave me a job, man, a J-O-B. And once he gave me the job, not only did he do that, but he gave me some hope. And he gave me an opportunity to make a difference, to be able to make an impact in the auto industry. He gave me a job at Dan Cummins Chevrolet and Buick in Paris, Kentucky. You see, Josh didn't just give me a job. He made me feel seen and he made me see me. He made me feel valued. And he believed in me. And ultimately, he empowered me. And not just me. Josh has done this. He's, he's got uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of employees now. I know at least 400 employees now. He also raises money for the community and does things to make an impact that way. He's got an organization called CASA that stands up and represents kids that can't be stood up for and can't represent themselves. He does all of these things, right? He creates all of these jobs around us. And ultimately, if it wasn't for Josh Cummins believing in me, like think about the ripple effect. If he wouldn't have believed in me and given me the opportunity, there would be no rise and grind. There would be no breakfast with champions. There wouldn't be any of these things. Dude, my kids, now I've got eight kids. I've got my wife. I've got my tribe. I've got all of you that, that believe in me, that share the mornings with me, that inspire me, that invigorate me, right? Like, understand, I'm not here without Josh's impact in my life. And the whole entire world is a completely different place. Impact want to ingrain that word in you today, the ability you have to make an impact in other people's lives. Listen, when I think about impact, I think about, I think about my mother, right? 
I think about my mother and I want you to think about your parents. My mom married, my mom's white. She married a black dude. She did this, like married this black dude five or six years after Martin Luther King got shot for trying to integrate schools. Do you understand that? Like when my mom decided to hook up with my dad, that was a dangerous situation. She faced danger. She faced all the sneers and the jeers and the people looking at her sideways because she was a white woman with a black man. She did all of those things. And that I'm so thankful she did, right? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her. And she fought for us and always made us feel special and loved and was kind to us, right? And that impact that my, my mom made on me, she's now making that same impact on my kids. As a grandma, last night we were there for taco night and she's pouring into them. She's holding them, right? Think of the ripple effect from my mom's decision to stand up for love versus what the society said that she should believe in. Think about that impact. And I want you to think about your parent, the decisions that your parents made so that you could be in the position that you are in right now, right? The position, the decisions that others made to give you an opportunity. So here it is. You have an opportunity today because other people jumped on theirs. The ripple effect is you now have an opportunity to make an impact with your life. You see, I believe that there's a born on date and there's an expiration date. And that dash in the middle is all about impact. That's the dash. That's it. That's the magic. Your decisions ultimately will make an impact in other people's lives. It might be a positive impact. It might be a negative impact. Either way, you are going to leave a mark. Do you understand this? Either way, you are going to leave a mark. Listen, Harriet Tubman changed the world through 300 people. TikTok is impacting the world like billions of people. Josh Cummins doing his work through thousands of people and customers monthly. And some people like Jesus did it through 12 disciples that made a massive impact on my life 2000 years later. So my question to you is this, how are you going to make an impact on your friends, on your family, on your coworkers today? And what will they one day say about you in the future? That's the real question. And here's the good news. If you rise every single day with intention and purpose, you will evolve into the absolute best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And when you become the best version of you, ultimately, you will go out and make a massive impact in other people's lives. And the best part is, you don't have to do it alone. We can do this together. Life is a team sport. Isn't that incredible? Listen, my friends, I believe something. I believe that you are a child of God. The God of the universe, the God that made everything. And I believe that that God made you to be the best version of you that you possibly be. So that, therefore, <laughs> you can go out and make an impact on other people's lives. Every decision you make, every decision you make matters. Okay, I want you to understand that. You matter. You have value. You have worth. You choosing to show up here today matters. Makes an impact. Makes an impact on me, right? You choosing to rise early makes an impact. You choosing to put in the work makes an impact. You choosing to be positive, to post positive. You choosing to go out there and do a viral dance with us to make somebody else smile or make someone else laugh, even though it might embarrass you just a little bit, it makes an impact. All of these things matter. So let's have some fun and let's understand the value and the importance of the role that you play on this planet as a child of God with both the ability and the responsibility to go out there and make a difference. Listen, if you need more videos like this, you can go to glennlundy.com. That's right, you go there, you can find all kinds of other videos. Um, if you want to hang out some more, we're going to be hanging out on Clubhouse. We're going to be on Clubhouse until 11 a.m. Eastern. We're there on Clubhouse from 5 a.m. to 11 a.m. Monday through Saturday. So you're welcome to come hang out there if you want. But most importantly, come back here again tomorrow morning, 5.30 a.m. We're going to do this all over again on hashtag Rise and Grind. Have an incredible day. See ya. And I'm going to wake the world
so alarmed, man. I hashtag rising grind. Hashtag rising grind. First thing on my mind. Early in the morning time. Daily motivation. Feeling so divine. Waking up the nation. Hashtag rising grind. Hashtag rising grind. 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 Hashtag rising grind. Grind.